Hello and welcome to The Vinyl Frontier. My name is Morgan Brannigan and on this series on Jam Time TV we'll be looking at uh, vinyl, celebrating music on vinyl, scratches and all, listening to some stuff that has been important in the history of, whether in the history of music or that's been important to me or to other people growing up. Music that is remembered as originally being on vinyl. So. We're going to start with probably what is the basis of a lot of music for the 20th century. The one and only Robert Johnson, who was dead by 1938, yet it took about 30 odd, 26 years or something for his record to be released. The King of the Delta Blues. This is a copy of it. This one here, you can see the 499 sticker, which was probably from Carol's Records. It's a reissue, but uh, 38, 58, 20, 24 years until this music was released to the general public. It influenced the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin. It influenced Led Zeppelin a lot, actually. It influenced a lot of the punk bands that came later, Iggy Pop, of whom more later. So now we're going to listen to Traveling Riverside Blues, in which Johnson talks about, among other things, having his lemon squeezed. So here we go with the uh, Traveling Riverside Blues. If you man get burst and know what you have your fall. If your man get burst and know what you have your fall. Let's come on back to Pride Point, my man. Fell up all night long. I got women in Big Bird, clean on into Tennessee. I got women in Big Bird, clean on into Tennessee. But my pride point right now hops all over me. I ain't got to stay no cover, but a front teeth crown we go. I ain't got to stay no cover, but a front teeth crown we go. She got a mortgage on my body and a lean on my soul. But I'm going to Rodale, going to take my ride up by my side. But I'm going to Rodale, going to take my ride up by my side. We can steal Bell House, baby, cause it's on the riverside. Now you can squeeze my lemon till the juice runs down my... Till the juice runs down my leg, baby. You know what I'm talking about. You can squeeze my lemon till the juice runs down my leg. That's what I'm talking about now. But I'm going back to Brad Point if I be rocking to my head. So the wonderful Robert Johnson there, there's um, a lot of rhythm in Johnson's music that you find yourself tapping your foot. Sometimes the rhythms that aren't, you know, don't seem to be there. So uh, they say he sold the soul to the devil at a crossroads. Who knows whether that happened or not. But his music is certainly very, very influential to other musicians and is loved still, uh, whatever, 60 years after his death, uh, 70 years after his death, across the world. So um, that's Johnson. Another man who's been compared with Robert Johnson is Iggy Pop, who was called the Robert Johnson of punk, because uh, Iggy Pop made influential records with the Stooges and then. 
um, disappeared for a while, much like Johnson. Johnson disappeared a couple of months after he made his two series of recordings in Texas in 36 and 37. He was dead within a year. Alan Lomax came down to Mississippi looking for him to make him a star, and he was dead. But he found Muddy Waters, so we'll probably play some Muddy Waters at some point in this series as well. So back to Iggy Pop. His band, The Stooges, released a number of albums, but we're going to listen to Raw Power. So this is the Raw Power album from 1973. Doesn't Iggy have a fine body on him there? So some of the other artwork on this album. Uh, Iggy and the Stooges, produced by David Bowie, and apparently there was a remix done later on with Iggy and Bruce Dickinson, I think, out of Iron Maiden. So uh, this is, again, vinyl, the original, uh, or certainly a re reissue from sometime in the 70s. Uh, this song was inspired by an article, apparently in Time magazine on the Vietnam War, and it's called Search and Destroy. That was the Robert Johnson of punk Iggy Pop, produced by David Bowie back in 1973. So, uh, yeah. 
stirring stuff. And you can see a direct link and hear a direct link between that music and music that was to come out a number of years later on this relic piece of history. The Spiral Scratch EP by the Buzzcocks, um, this came out in uh, just early 1977, 76 was recorded and uh, Buzzcocks doing boredom among other things and that's the first one we're going to listen to. Uh, this is preserved in a plastic bag to stop it falling apart. The original one has um, doesn't say with Howard the Vogel on it. We talk about that some other time. So this is the wonderful Buzzcocks with one of the first punk singles, an early, again very influential uh, single, with Boredom being the first uh, track we're going to play. Uh, two note guitar solo seemed to epitomise all that was great about punk. You didn't really need to be able to play guitar as long as you could hit two notes. A uh, very well written song, very urgent song, great drive and beat, and great production by the magnificent Martin Hammett, who, among other bands, produced uh, Joy Division, who will play some of their things on the show at another time as well. So now we have the Buzzcocks with Boredom and Friends of Mine swiftly following.
Well, when I mentioned the two note solo in Boredom, I forgot about the one note solo in that song. I, I still think that's a brilliant song, uh, many years after first hearing it. Uh, Spiral Scratch, and you can hear, maybe guess the sort of how they got the name, just the sound of the guitar, the sound of the whole drive of the band. So, from a similar period, late 70s, we're going to slow things down a wee bit with the music of the fall. And we also had a few real life scratches and that. I think you could hear a jump or two on that single. And sometimes, uh, the longer you know the music, you get used to the scratches and the jumps. Uh, the warmth of the sound on vinyl is uh, something different from a lot of the uh, technology, uh, digital stuff we have these days. So, without sounding like a more like a grumpy old man than I actually am, we'll go with uh, a great title from a great band, Live at the Witch Trials by The Fall, uh, recorded in 78, came out early 1979, and uh, the song we're going to listen to is one called Frightened.
I love is the very dark world of the fall. Frightened. Another one from the late 70s. Marky Smith and the fall have been going now for uh, 30 odd years. 27 different drummers. I think he sacked a guitar player for because he saw him eating a salad at an airport. Um, he said himself, if it's me and your Grammy on the bongos, that's the fall. So, uh, an excellent song. You can hear the scratches. Sweat it a lot. You can feel the violence. Great lyrics in it. A lot of things about dread and about feeling uncomfortable. It's one of the, probably the best songs that sums up just not being at home in your own skin. And talk about not being at home in your own skin. We're going to end our first show of this uh, hopeful series on Jam Time TV with a band who are very strange indeed. So this is Perubu, this is another uh, form of vinyl, the wondrous uh, variety of vinyl. This is a 12 inch single, looks like an album, uh, four tracks on it. And this was recorded in 1975-76. Data Panic in the Year Zero is the name of the, what's called an EP, Extended Play. I think 12 inch single. And Perubu are really an acquired taste. Uh, here on Jam Time TV we play not only the hits, we play the songs that should have been hits and we'll be playing quite a number of songs that should never be hits and this is probably one of them. They're a bit like Guinness, they're an acquired taste. They will give you a sore head if you take too much of it. But I saw this band in Manchester in 1981 and they blew my mind. Part of it was I was about uh, 16 or 17 stone then and the lead singer was about 18 stone. So he's a good role model for fat men, as you can see on some of the pictures that we put up of him. So this song from Per Ubu is uh, 30 seconds over Tokyo, and it seems to refer to a film that was made about a bomb attack by the Americans in retaliation for Pearl Harbor. And what the relevance is to Per Ubu, what the relevance has to the late 70s, I'm not sure, but I think this too is a wonderful song. You may not agree.
Tossing in streets come through my sides And sprouting clumps of mushrooms like the world's so real Now this dream won't ever, ever end And time seems like it'll never be again 30 seconds in a one-way ride 30 seconds in a place to hide 30 seconds in a one-way ride 30 seconds in a place to hide Seconds over Tokyo. Thirty 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 seconds over Tokyo.